I'm so glad that you could bring Emma and Spike. Well, now it's a party. Uh, yeah, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, Miranda really needed a play date, and I needed some quality nephew time. Aw, oh, sweetheart. You look good and toasty. Hey! I hope we're not intruding. Oh, no, of course not. The more, the merrier. Who's your friend? This is Kathy. We're family now. Want to come play? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Kathy is beautiful. How are you related? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry or anything. No, I'm I'm Kathy's guardian. Her parents both died in a car accident. Wow. I'm really sorry. I, I can't even imagine what that must be like for her. I don't know if Kathy really understands that her parents are gone forever. Her whole world is just turned upside down and I have no idea how to make it right. Well, you know, kids need continuity. Maybe you can get some of the things from her house. Um, the blanket from her bed or the books that her mother used to read her. In fact, you should have the lawyers send over everything that they can find. Doctor's records, preschool class list, her mother's day book, even like a grocery list so that you can figure out what her favorite foods are. <laughs> I, it's, of course, I'm such an idiot. No. I don't know why I, I didn't think of it Julia, before. Go easy on yourself. Come on, I mean, I've been feeling like a newbie mom myself lately. But there are more good days than bad days. Maybe today will be a good day. Losing somebody that you love is awful at any age, but for a child. You know, just have no idea what's going on in their little heads. <laughs> and you don't want to make it worse. Right. If I keep Maggie from seeing Miranda, am I protecting my daughter? Or am I hurting her? Or am I just being petty? Well, you want to make the right choices as a parent, but I, I know already I'm constantly second-guessing myself. Maggie... Maggie was like a mom to Miranda. Miranda thought of her as a mom, but we never signed adoption papers. Then again, kids don't know from court documents. She loves Maggie, she misses Maggie, but Maggie walked out on us. I just, I don't know what to do. Is it really terrible that I have absolutely nothing to say to you to make it any better? <laughs> After everything that you said to me, oh. help me not feel so alone. <laughs> yeah. Look, this is what playdates are. The kids bond over Duck Duck Goose, and the parents bond over not having all the answers. <laughs> Let me see. There you go. Kiss it, and It's perfect. But you know what? Maybe I better give you the super duper checkup just in case. Huh? Come on over here. Okay. Hmm. Tummy, check. Mm, arms, yep, check. Hmm. Ears, <laughs> can I smile? <laughs> oh, go on, go on, go on, play. All right, I, I, I gotta ask. What did you whisper to her? I know I, I didn't have any right, and I don't want Kathy to think that I'm trying to replace her mother. Oh, Julia, come on. Whatever you said obviously really helped her. I love Kathy. And that's what I whispered in her ear. The idea that a child could go a single day without hearing that just seems so wrong. Julia Kiefer. You played me. You don't need my advice. <laughs> Come on, any mother who knows that a child needs to hear that she's loved every day already has most of the answers. 
Well, adults need to hear it too. I mean, to feel like you're just alone, no support, no one to tell you that everything's just going to be okay. That's a terrible way to live. Yeah. You know, I. I need to go see someone. Would you mind watching Spike for just a just a minute? Oh sure, we go way back. Rachel and Emma will be back in a minute, I'm sure. <laughs> hey guys, can you come on over here? Miranda, hey, I'm gonna meet you and Claire at home, okay? And uh, Brendan has the car; he'll drive you. Hey, Miranda, come here. Did I tell you that I love you today? Yes. Yeah. Good. I do. Oh, I love you so much. All right, have fun. Have fun. <laughs> well, Julia might not be so bad at this mommy thing after all, huh, kid? Winnie made those peanut butter and banana pancakes specifically for me. But I just couldn't eat them. And why not, babe? I don't know, I just... It didn't seem right. My God, a plate of poison just sitting there. No one touch it. If the pancakes were for babe, then Dixie's not the intended victim. I was supposed to die today. <laughs> <laughs>